people often think that sales is a science. And I, I couldn't disagree more. I think it, there is a part of it that is scientific that you can break down into little pieces and study and perfect. But I think it's more of an art. And to give you an example of this, let's think about the movies. Years now. And you would think you could come up with a success formula. And in some ways, they have. They've come out, you know, Rocky 1 through 50 or whatever it is, or horror movies. Some of those have been able to succeed at some level. But let's take a look at The Godfather, probably one of the preeminent films of all time. Certainly for most guys in the U.S., The Godfather movies have been super successful. Godfather 1 was a blockbuster. Godfather 2 was probably ranked as the, one of the best movies ever made. But then what had happened? Godfather 3 came out. And I remember this because I was a huge fan. It came out on Christmas Day. I think it was like 1991 or 92. And I was really looking forward to seeing it. Well, waited in line, got in, watched the movie, and it wasn't very good. It was actually pretty bad as far as movies go. So what happened? It was the same stars, same cast, same director, uh, a similar plot uh, built off of. Father One was just unbelievable. I still watch it at least once or twice a year, and it still captivates me. Godfather 2 is just a blowout movie. I still watch it every year. And I, it still is the preeminent uh, gangster movie. you got to love it. But what happened with Godfather 3? It just had something missing, but people don't really know what it was. And that's the art. The formula was there. The exact cast, director, plot, everything was there, but it still didn't come out right. It's a lot like cooking. In cooking, we have ingredients, we have utensils, we have a recipe and instructions, but for some reason, it doesn't come out the same way for the same person. It comes out a science. If it was purely chemistry, you'd be able to buy a great chef's cookbook and come up with the same result. But what it happens, it comes out a little different. And the crazy thing is, we don't blame the cookbook. We don't blame the utensils. We blame something that isn't us, the cook. But it has to be the cook, doesn't it? If you're using the same utensils, the same ingredients, the same exact recipe, the only thing that's different is the cook. And that's what sales is. And this becomes a real problem in sales because we keep looking for the science to put together the sales rep. And what else is it like? Think about comedy. Chris Rock, unquestionably one of the funniest comedians in hi the history of comedy. But you take any of his jokes, take the funniest of his jokes, and you try and repeat it. Go ahead. See if you get the same laughs. See if you get the same reaction. It might not come out good. It is his artistry. And he'll talk about this, that he'll go on the road and work up an hour routine over a year taking the jokes, the presenting, the delivery, and seeing how he can perfect it as the artist. Louis C.K., probably one of the funniest comedians today, certainly the most um, uh, popular uh, with his TV show and his stand-up. He goes on Saturday Night Live and tries a joke. It falls down. It causes controversy. It didn't he wasn't able to deliver it in a way that people received it as he intended. Even a master, somebody with 20-some years of delivery, falls down on a particular joke. You can check on YouTube about the joke. Just look, um, Louis C.K. controversy. So this is that comedy isn't a science. Comedy writers make peanuts. Great comedians make all the money. It's the delivery. It's the artistry of it. It's not the science of it. And we keep looking to make the science of sales. We do research. We try and describe that one approach is better than another. <clears throat> and we forget that we have to enable the artist. We, we have to practice, that we have to be the owner 
of the technique. The techniques work. They can work, but they don't work every time. It really depends on how you apply it, when to apply it. It's the artistry of sales. This is what everybody wants. Everybody wants the machine. What they forget is you're dealing with people. People are buying, people are selling, and they're not machines. They're not computer programmers. They are human beings, and you have to embrace and appreciate the artistry of sales. If you want to learn more about this, check out my podcast, The Brutal Truth About Sales and Selling, on iTunes. If you like this, please share it and like it and comment with your thoughts. I appreciate you watching.